I'm Chapti Sagaokar and welcome to Mash Up. Here's where we take grandma and mama's recipes and mash them into our own. Today we're making fish fry but with a little bit of a twist. There's going to be some garlic and some coriander pods. So let's get started then. For 6 mid-sized pieces of surmai we need about 1.5 to 2 tablespoons of oil. We need some salt to taste. You don't want too much because fish is salty in its nature. We have some coriander pods, the sticks that are left after plucking off the leaves. And we have some crushed garlic, about 3 to 4 cloves. And we have some red masala which is made from coriander seeds and red chilli powder and some turmeric. It's about a tablespoon of the masala. And we have some uh, flour, about half a cup of uh, rice flour and half a cup of fine rava. I've just mixed them together like that. Let's get started then. I'm going to start by putting in a little bit of salt. Not too much because fish is naturally salty in its nature. Some red masala that I've taught you how to do. So click right here to know how to make it. I'm also going to add some garlic to this. It's crushed garlic. It's not a paste, it's not chopped, it's crushed. And now, we're just going to mix this together, making sure that the masala, the garlic and the salt is evenly spread over each piece of fish. And now, I'm ready to get frying. Are you? The fish is going to roll in the flour now. All you have to do is get the fish to sort of soak up the flour. Turn around, soak up more flour. Now the sides. And in the end, you're going to get a lovely, crisp, fried fish. I'm just going to set this aside now. For the fish to be comfortable in the platter, you've got to be comfortable with the fish. So roll it, make it dance around. Just make sure that all the wet ends are covered with flour. We are ready to fry our fish now. Let's switch on the gas to a medium flame. And we throw in the oil. Will we know that the oil is ready to take the fish in? When we sprinkle a bit of flour into it, it should sizzle and pop up to the top. The important, this is really really important because if you put it a little too soon before the oil is warm enough, um, your fish surface, the flour mix will soak up the oil and it will just be a greasy fish as opposed to a nice and crispy fried fish. Let's try putting some flour in. See that? That's what I'm looking for. Now, in goes the fish, here carefully, that's the sizzle that makes me feel like I'm at home. You want to be careful when you put it in because the oil can sort of splash out onto your hand. You might be wondering what's happening to the coriander sticks, I haven't forgotten them. They're going in now, in between the fish. The thing with the coriander stalks is that it is packed with flavour. The moment it touches the oil, you can smell it. And I want that flavour to come into the oil and then into the fish. You're going to lightly lift up the side to see if it's done. And if it looks dark brownish, you're going to turn it over. Look at that, it's nice and crispy. Another two minutes and we're ready to take this out. Don't eat it while it's too hot, you'll burn your tongue. And there it is, a perfectly fried surmai. You could do this with any fish, there's no way of going wrong. Don't waste the coriander pods, they taste really nice when they are fried and crisp. This goes really well with solkadi and steamed rice, which is already on India Food Network. So subscribe to India Food Network and if you want to see more such recipes, bookmark, favourite and share this recipe because sharing is caring. We've got loads more for you, so subscribe to this channel and ping us at food at pingnetwork.in to tell us what you would like to see here.